The new gen Vena has been spied on road in recent months and is expected to debut at the 2023 Auto Expo next month. While previous sightings of the test mule have given us hints of the next gen Vena's design, this new spy shot now gives us a first look at the interior of the 2023 Vena. Despite the heavy camouflage, a major catch from the spy shot is a dual screen infotainment setup similar to the XCV700. Hyundai also offering a similar setup in the Ionic 5 and the recently launched Ionic 6 electric cars. Even though sleek air vents below the infotainment system look similar to the Ionic range, and the overall dashboard design will have an inspiration from the Elantra and Sonata range. Current gen Vena offers 8 inch infotainment setup, while this upcoming facelift might accommodate 10 inch infotainment screen with more connectivity options. Apart from these new tech updates, the new Vena might gain slightly more legroom for the rear passengers. The next gen Vena's exterior design will have a heavy inspiration from Elantra and Sonata range. With later sensor sportiness design philosophy, a large parametric grille will merge into the LED DRLs. On profile, it will have a fastback like styling with a tapered roof and a sportier dual tone alloy wheels will complete the side profile, thus giving a sportier look than the current gen model. Coming to the rear design, the new Verna is expected to get split tail lamp setup with an intercurrenting LED lighting strip at the middle. The next gen Verna will be the first Hyundai model to offer ADAS feature in the sub 20 lakh category, offering lane departure warning, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, forward collision mitigation, and more. Even in this particular picture, the ADAS model can be seen below the front license plate, thus confirming its availability. Currently, Verna offers three engine options a 1.5 litre petrol, 1.5 litre diesel, and a 1 litre turbo petrol that's been also shared with the Hyundai i20. Among them, the diesel engine option is expected to be ditched out due to the upcoming strict RD emission norms. Also, the 1 litre turbo petrol might get replaced by a 1.4 litre turbo unit that already powers the Hyundai Creta. The engine turns out 140 PS of maximum power. We'll get mated to the same set of 6 speed manual, 7 speed DCT, or IEPT options. See you soon with more updates. Thanks for watching.